Okay, in between videos, I started doing the graphics for the high scoreboard. So let me go over that with you. First of all, you've got the frame label here, H scores, right? And then I went down here and I put a keyframe for under the graphics layer, right? So I've got a keyframe right here. And then right here, I'm going to put a blank keyframe, insert blank keyframe, just to show you that this graphics only shows up on this frame right here, which is under the high scores um, frame label. And this is happening on frame 10. So what do we have here? Well, I've got a text box, static text, okay, that has Arial bold. So I'm always using the same font. So I don't have to uh, load different fonts into my game. And so that's static text right there. Then on this one, I've got a text box. And then I hit return. And I created a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Also Arial bold, green. And then you can see here I've set some spacing, 9-point spacing, so that the letters get spaced out to have them match up with these other boxes where the names will go and the scores will go. Now let's talk about these boxes. These boxes are a little bit different. These are what's called dynamic text boxes. So they are created with the text tool. So you get the text tool right here, right? And you create the box. And when you create the text box, I'll show you right here. You create the text box, OK? You change it from static text, which is just regular text, to dynamic text, which means with dynamic text boxes, we can send data, we can send information to the the um, through to the text box using action script code so it's a dynamic text box so you just select that and then you deselect and you'll see the dots around the text box see a, a normal static text box won't get these dots but these text boxes will and when you select them it'll say dynamic text here and it can take a variable instance name it can take an object name which we can then code to so I'm going to delete this one and then I'll show you the ones I made. Well, I made this one. This row are dynamic text boxes for the name. So I've named them all N0. And this next one is N1, N2, N3, N4, 5, and so on, all the way down to N9. So this is N0 through 9, dynamic text box. There's the name, Arial bold, all that stuff. These are um, uh, aligned center. These have been set to align center and the text color is green. And then on these text boxes, um, they're also dynamic text boxes. And this is where the scores will go. And this is S2, and this is S1, and this is S0, S3, S4. So anyway, I've started there. And um, I set the spacing and the alignment here. And you can take a look at that, right? So now it's time to write some code for this. So for our higher scoreboard, I'll put in a keyframe on the script layer right above where the graphics are. I'll just hit F6 on my keyboard to insert the keyframe. And then I'll start writing the code. So first off, we have to stop the keyframe here, right? We're going to stop it. And then I'm going to go two lines down, and I'm going to say my data with capital D equals new and then capital L load vars with a capital V. So it'll turn blue when it's spelled correctly. Open and close parentheses and a semicolon. So that creates a uh, load vars object, right? A load vars object from the load vars class. And I've called it the name. I've given it a variable name, my data. All right. And then my data dot load. And we're going to load a file and what we're going to load is a um, piece of PHP uh, code that I've put into a file called get underscore score 2 because it was version 2 was finally when I got it right so get underscore 2 score 2 dot PHP and I'll be showing you how to write that and then a semicolon there and then I'll go two lines down and say my data dot on Let's see here, on load, capital L. So on load equals a function. So when it loads, we're going to have a function. And, and then the argument here, if success, right? There's the argument. And curly brace, close curly brace, right? Open curly brace, close curly brace. 
and then we'll put a conditional statement in here. So if success is true, so if get score dot php get score two dot php loads. So if we have success on load, then we're going to do something. All right, and what will we do? We're going to do a loop. So we'll loop through the scores that we load. And so then I'll say for statement for loop for var let's see here i equals zero semicolon i is less than this and then count which will be will be a property of what we're going to be loading semicolon and then i increment i and that is the basic for loop right there so that's going to loop through however many items we count off okay and i could have just changed this to 10 because we're going to have a 10 number high scoreboard but i'm going to do it this way and then we'll say root root timeline open and close bracket right n for name uh, plus i. So when the variable loops var i will start with 0 then we'll say root n0 which will target the n0 text box on the stage. And we say dot text equals, so our text box, this is our text box as we loop through n0, n1, n2, n3, our text box will equal this and then name plus i and that will be loaded from the PHP file so that there will be a um, hash that will be loaded which is a name value pair and it'll be a name and then a value and then the name and we're going to do the same thing for score so just copy that and we paste it and we say our other text boxes on the stage are called S0 through 9 for a total of 10 and this will be score plus I so that's going to loop through and set all of our boxes uh, hopefully loaded if it connects correctly with the get score PHP and the PHP file talks to the database and pulls the information then my data will load it and put it into the text boxes on the stage then I'm going to put in an else statement here for troubleshooting else we don't have success loading and we can do something we could have it go to a different frame on the stage saying high score data wasn't loaded or in this case we'll just put a default in right now for tracing a statement we'll just trace a statement to the flash um, player we'll say error loading data all right and so that's our code and we're going to go over and make this work in the next video.